So I checked, and there is an 11 o'clock out in Minneapolis. So we should be on the road by 6. Okay. Oh, scared me there. Startled me. Mr. Niger, Deputy Salverson, maybe you remember. Yeah, sure. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, but we got a call from Las Vegas PD. What? Las Vegas police. And they said you were, um, that you might be a witness to a murder. Uh, three murders, actually. Lester? It's, it's fine. Uh, go back to your show. Is everything okay? Oh, yes, ma'am. It's just a routine inquiry. Is now a good time to ask you a few questions? No. <laughs> oh. Honestly, Lester, stay or go, but I, I got a bladder the size of a penny, so... Oh, you oh, poor mm. thing. Please come in. We're gonna do this, Molly. We are gonna do this. Oh, we're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. I'm just sitting here watching. It's just the cutest thing on earth. Don't let this be Lord Malvo. He knows what he saw. Don't. Leave it, you're a police, you're a postman now. Not your problem. Not your circus, not your monkeys. Help ya? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm looking for Lester Nygaard. Oh, yeah, we bought the place from him in the fall. Nice guy. Uh, don't have a forwarding address. He's, he's got the shop over in third, though. Is that Bo Monk? Nah, got his own place now, with his name on it. Oh, nice. Like I said, over on third. Okay. You can't miss it. OK, thanks. Oh, uh, one more thing. You, you do know people were murdered in this house, right? A hell of a thing. Man in the living room, shotgun, woman in the basement. I think it was a hammering. Afterwards, Lester told me he used to hear noises coming from the basement at night. Footsteps on the stairs. He's such a sh... You have a nice day. Have fun, kids. I like him. He's such a bastard. <laughs> and, uh, what happened on the elevator? Nothing. I mean, it, it went up. Well, uh, I checked, and it looks like you changed your flight at the last minute to come back on the first flight. So, what was the reason there? That was me. My idea. I just... I got homesick, you know? Woke Lester up in the middle of the night and told him, did we have to stay another day? Because she's covering him. I tend to get my way. Oh boy, does she. Okay then, well, uh, thank you for your time, Mr. Nygaard, Mrs. Okay. Don't leave town for a while, I may have some more questions for you. Oh, shoot. We were gonna no, go... absolutely, absolutely. We'll be right here if you need us. She's gonna get the picture, she's gonna see us, Lord Malvo. It's on, it's on. Uh, a couple of FBI fellows came by the station looking for you. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Lester, it's like, it, he's got no chill, he's got no chill. Oh, no. Keep your hands off, Lou. Molly's dad is out of bounds. Coffee? I'm getting tense now. I wanted to look up my old pal, Lester Nygaard. Oh, sure, I know Lester. You go buy a shop? Oh, first thing, but uh, when you know it, they're closed. Well, you try calling him? Yeah, I could do that, but I, you know, I was kind of hoping to surprise him. That's Pickle. Yep. They look happy. Of course, no one hangs the sad pictures, am I right? So here I am, asking you if you know where I can find old Lester. Had a case once, back in 79. Bodies? If you stacked them high, could have climbed to the second floor. Yeah. I saw something that year I ain't ever seen. 
before or since. I'd call it animal. Except animals only kill for food. This was Sioux Falls. Ever been? I thought it was going to be Sioux Falls. Thanks for the pie and the coffee. I haven't had a piece of pie like that since the Garden of Eden. Other doors? <sighs> hey, Dad. Hey. Hey, huh? Jesus. Everything okay? Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just get a weird one. <laughs> no, Chief, listen. No, no, no. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I got a fuck off, Bill. How embarrassing is this? This is the F. Fuck it, Bill. Play. Molly, these guys aren't interested in. Have you seen this? Well, she did tell you that we caught the guy responsible for killing the wife, didn't she? Uh, you know. Uh, the brother Nygaard, and he had the bloody hammer. So, and... you don't care about the fact that this Malvo character was seen with Lester at the hospital? Or that he ended up in Duluth in direct conflict with these other two? Uh, no, because that, uh, what happened in Duluth, it had... I'm gonna call HQ and let them know we'll be staying the night. We can take another run at Lester tomorrow. This is tremendous work, Deputy. Impressive. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Cats talk about it. Pose. Just a size. You. You are being awful today. <laughs> Play. You got your come up and spill. Boy, are they gonna have a conversation over dinner tonight? Oh, so the FBI came into town and they, they think I did really well on the Lord Malvo case. Oh, well, actually, it's funny you should say that because I saw Lord Malvo just get passed on the post. Okay, all set, ready to go? You know, I remember when I was three, and I told you how we came over to America, settled in Minnesota, my folks bought the motel. Oh yeah? Well, they put me right to work. Laundry at first, and making the beds, and cleaning the rooms. You don't even want to know the disarray people leave behind. No, I bet. While I was cleaning up, I had this dream that someone, a man, would come along and take me away from all this. And then I met you, and here we are. We're going to Acapulco. Bless her. Lester? You know, I hate to do this, but I kind of tweak my back before getting the luggage out of the car. Oh, you poor baby. He so is not. you think you could run in? The passports are in the safe. There's some cash in there, too. Can you... Will you do that for me? Of course, son. <laughs> oh, my God, Linda. you little shit weasel. Mm. It's cold out there. You're sweet. He's setting this up. Oh, uh, he's put your hood up, huh? I'd hate for your pretty face to freeze. He is such shit. I gotta hate this guy.
you fuck. People have got to start asking questions now, right? Just, just another wife murdered. God damn it. God damn it, Lester. <laughs> painful to watch truly painful to watch i think that woman actually quite like lester and thoroughly appreciated the life that he was able to create for and with her and that was not who she was to him so yeah husband of the year he's first of all he, he roughs her out of bed because he's okay so let's go back Lester trying to front up with Lord Malvo just hilarious he's all like this isn't gonna go like last time new me new life I'm going to try and embarrass him in front of people. But he just gets everyone in the lift killed. Everyone in the elevator is dead. And then... He, <laughs> Lester actually thinks, oh, I know. I'll, um, I'll go for the head again. I, you know, I've already done blunt force trauma once. I can, I can do this again. And somehow managed to f manages to fuck up knocking a man who can't see you with what looked like quite a heavy little award so he completely botched that so then he knows he's got to get out of dodge so he convinces the wife to leave vegas but not before a camera's caught him which means that vegas pd go through to bemidji to like do the witness prep for them which happens that's it that's the thing meanwhile the fbi agents get activated so law and order now are coming coming to town for principally for leicester i loved i thought the scenes with um that that scene with the FBI guys, Molly and Bill, was absolutely brilliant. It's like the scene I've been waiting for this whole show to have like like we know that Budge and Pepper are not necessarily the most formidable law enforcement agents. However, to Bill, they're basically gods. And I just loved how he's like, oh, no, let me talk to you in my office, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's the brother that did it. Yeah, but didn't you think about, like, why about uh, and this? And then pointing to the holes and Bill's just like, he's got no answer. And this is the thing. He, like, he never had an answer for Molly. And if someone asks you a question that you can't answer in the context of you both have a, have a difference of opinion about a theory... If you can't satisfactorily answer that question for yourself or for the other person, then you've got to go back to square one with your theory. And he's such a stupid, stupid man that he couldn't do that. So now we've wasted a lot of months and Lester has made a lot of money and had a nice life. Well, Bill has been seriously fucking this thing up. So I'm, I'm finale ready. I want this thing done now. Now. I don't want anyone I love to die though. Might be asking a lot. It's an anthology series. So they've not even got plot armour anymore. Because everyone's out at the end of the next episode. Which makes me quite concerned. And I don't quite 
because I've not even watched a full season through, I think you've at least got to watch one full season of a show before you even know what kind of a show it is. You know, is this the kind of show that breaks your heart or lifts your soul or, you know, it's not clear. And I'm honestly not clear yet. I'm really not, because I've had a couple of shocks in this, which I thought, cool, that's a good dark turn. Which I think they do really cleverly. It's same as the film, really, in that you've got this sort of the the music in particular is is like almost from Looney Tunes. It's very cartoonish, makes you want to laugh music. But the you know the subject matter, you know sometimes it's it's funny, but it will switch from funny to scary really really quickly. And I I do like that about the show. So that's it. I'm not going to waffle on. Like that episode, ready for the finale. Until the next time, bye bye. The fox and the cabbage in the boat to where the rabbit is. So I'm going to read this because it gets well tricky, but basically the farmer takes the rabbit across and then he returns in the boat to the fox and the cabbage. He takes the fox and the cabbage. No, he can't because he can't take two things. <laughs> Next, the farmer takes the cabbage. Okay, so the farmer 